Yo, 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 it's your boy Ning Che back at it again. Today we are talking about something that is kind of a tricky subject to talk about, especially because, you know, dealing with acne, pimples, zits, like that's not like a sexy topic and something that I've personally had to deal with. I've dealt with it for many years and I know that, you know, a lot of you guys watching may be going through the same problems. If you don't have this struggle, then lucky you, you're a lucky bastard. Even the thought of it right now is making me cringe because to be honest, I used to have really bad acne in high school, you know, in freshman, sophomore year. I was that kid, I had braces, I had bad zits all over my cheeks. Um, and it was a really hard time, you know, especially for your self-esteem, for your confidence levels, like acne can play a huge part in affecting that. So I thought I would talk about, you know, just kind of how I dealt with it, my skincare routine, things that I do on a daily basis to make sure that my skin is looking clean, fresh, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. So before I kind of get into my tips, I just kind of want to talk about my personal story with acne because I know, um, like I said, it's it's a tough thing to deal with. It's intimidating. It sucks. It looks bad, and you know there's no way around it. But first off, if you are lucky enough to never have dealt with acne, congrats. Like don't ever complain about your skin. Oh, I have like one baby zit. Like like shut up. People have it way worse. But yeah, in freshman and sophomore year, I. I don't know, I was like breaking out for some mad reason, puberty, hormones, whatever it was, especially when you're like 16, 17, like that's prime time for your acne to start building up. But you know, it was all over my chin. I'll put pictures right now. These are pictures that are n nowhere else on the internet because it was, I was just so embarrassed. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm putting them here to show you that, you know, it does get better, like your skin will clear up. But anyway, I had acne, I had braces, I was short, my hair was in a bad phase. But then I went to a dermatologist, um, started going to visits to see you know, what I could do to clear my skin up. She eventually recommended something called Accutane. Now, most of you guys probably know what Accutane is, but essentially it's like a really strong acne treatment for people who have it really bad. It's not like your basic you know, face wash. It's actually like a pill that you have to be taking daily. I also have to get like monthly blood tests to make sure that it's not affecting my liver or anything because there are several side effects. Now my story with Accutane is I would have the worst dry lips like oh man I would have to use, I would, I'd be carrying like two to three chapsticks in my pocket a day, Vaseline, Aquaphor, you name it. I was a chapstick connoisseur. That was the biggest side effect for me. Everyone has different side effects. You know I'm obviously not a dermatologist so go talk to a doctor if you feel like Accutane is something that you would like to try. Like speaking from experience I think that Accutane was a great decision for me. I don't think that it, I would have been able to combat it any other way just because it was so bad. But it's not for everyone. Like if it's very minor, then don't worry about it. But if you feel like that's what you need to do, then you gotta do what you gotta do. But yeah, I was on Accutane for like four to five to six months, taking pills every day. It was actually like really a really big hassle. But once I was done with my treatment, I promised that like my skin was instantly clear. I will say this though, that like when you first start Accutane, your acne is gonna get worse before it gets better, which is like kind of part of the treatment. Yeah, after I finished with the Accutane, my skin was super clear. And the great thing is that like after you finish, obviously you'll get a zit or two here and there, but you know, acne essentially is just gone forever for um, the rest of your youth. I don't exactly know too much about like why it does, but like I haven't had crazy breakouts. Like I said, when I'm stressed or if I'm eating bad, then I will get kind of um, a pimple or two, but. Okay, so when it comes to acne and skincare, your body is a temple. Your body is a temple. I can't stress enough that the type of things that you're gonna be putting into your body will not only affect your physical appearance, but also your mental state and so much more. Meaning that essentially things like fast food or greasy food or fats and sugars, like that will 
have a direct correlation to whether or not you get acne. Now, there's a bunch of science out there about acne because it's been around for so long. And you know, some people might say that, oh no, like what you eat doesn't affect it. Like you can eat McDonald's every day and you're not gonna get pimples. And to me, like I just find that like it's complete bullshit. I'm not a scientist. I don't have any kind of PhD in any of this. I'm not a dermatologist. But like intuitively, it, it just doesn't make sense that putting greasy food and fats will not have an effect on your skin. So yeah, just the most important thing is just watch what you eat, like make sure that you have a balanced diet, make sure you're getting your vegetables, your fruits, your vitamins. And then on the other side of that, like even myself as a college kid, like I still like to, you know, watch my intake on not good substances for your body, whether it's, you know, alcohol, smoking, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Also just find out like what your body reacts to. I know some people can start breaking out if they drink milk or if they eat a certain type of food that will make them inflame. Like listen to your body. If it starts reacting after you eat something, then just keep that in mind for the future. Um, another huge thing is like your hands actually have so much germs and bacteria on them that by like, I'm not even gonna do it right now, but like by touching your face every day and you know, just like messing around with it. That's one of the biggest ways to um, culture bacteria on your face, which will eventually lead to zits and pimples. So to combat that, like make sure you guys are washing your hands super carefully. And then your bed sheets, your pillow covers, like wash those at least like once or twice a month at the minimum. If you're not, then literally like the, the pillows that you're sleeping on, on your side, on your face itself, like that will absorb and make gross zits and pimples that you don't want to have to deal with leading to my next point of don't agitate the pimple more than it already is i know like the literal worst thing is you have a big night out you're going to prom you have a birthday party or an event or whatever and you just get a zit out of nowhere and you're like oh my god this is literally the worst thing that could happen to me especially like when it's super visible like here or here or wherever you know every bone in your body is going to want to make you pop that okay so first off from my experience popping a zit first will leave scars like it sucks because when i was having bad acne i would like pop my zits and then now i have these like shitty scars that you really like it's so hard to get rid of no matter what type of treatments or surgeries you do like scars will are permanent and they'll stay on your face forever so you know try and avoid that as much as possible but let's say that a zit is you know prime it's ready it's juicy like you know what i mean when it's like you can see the white the best thing to do then is first off wash your hands because you don't want any other type of bacteria getting that infected and then if you really really need to pop it like you know it's about to pop then you know be as gentle and you know it's kind of weird that i'm making a video about this but the best way i found to like pop a zit is like go this way go this way and then go this way like don't just go because that's just gonna make a worse scar uh, this is like really weird for me to talk about but then dab the blood <laughs> with a tissue like don't just like smear it around as if that's gross and nasty going back to what i was saying like if a zit's not ready to be pop it then don't pop it don't agitate it it's just gonna make it worse it's gonna make it more red and then you're gonna end up going out with like this huge zit and everyone's gonna be like Ugh. i'm kidding people hopefully your friends won't do that but that kind of takes me to my second point of your skincare routine the most important thing to battle your acne is First off, finding the products that work right for your skin. Every type of person has a different type of skin uh, complexion, meaning that everyone's gonna need different types of skin products. So the type of stuff I don't really recommend are your basic pharmacy brand um, face washes because that's just kind of like very basic. It tries to like cover all as many um, skin types as possible, meaning that it's not gonna be the best way to combat your acne. So if you have really bad acne, go to your dermatologist, see what they prescribe whether it's topical creams, pills, or just a specific type of face wash for, whether it's like oily skin or dry skin or whatever your type of skin may be. Okay, so personally, the type of face wash I'm using right now is the Clinique for Men. Fucking focus. The Clinique for Men, which is this charcoal skin wash. Um, I just kind of got it at the airport when I was flying into Paris because freaking TSA confiscated my face watch which I was super pissed about okay this kind of goes against what I'm saying but I'm traveling so I have to like travel lightly meaning I can't carry my regular skin routine products but it's called Emprani um, 
These two things are called toner and lotion. If you don't know what toner is, toner is very important because that's the stuff that you should be using right after you wash your face. It's gonna like lightly moisturize it and then the lotion is what you put on after the toner and it's gonna make it even more moisturized so you get that smooth, soft skin. So yeah, that being said, don't go and get these products just because I recommend them. Like, do your research, see what works for other people who have similar skin complexions. Not all products are gonna be right for you, so you're gonna have to take the time to like find what does work. Another huge thing, aside from the foods that you're eating, stress is also a huge factor. So I know for like me personally, when it's like finals or midterm season, I just get stressed. If I'm not sleeping enough, you know, that can lead to more stress which will lead to more acne so just making sure that you're taking care of your body taking care of yourself be hydrated oh i can't believe i forgot water 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 literally drinking water and staying hydrated keeping your skin hydrated is so important because when it starts drying out that can be a bad place for acne to start building up so make sure that you're drinking tons of water this much even more a day i promise that will also treat help help treat your skin and kind of like my last thing, this isn't really a tip, it's not a skincare product, but it's just dealing with self-confidence when you have this bad acne. Especially in high school, I know that kids can be judgmental, but it's whatever, like, it's gonna be so hard, but really you just can't care what other people think. Like, sure, it's a pimple, who cares, everyone gets them. Just brush it off and know that it will get better, your skin will clear up, so don't think that this is permanent, that it's the end of the world. Like, speaking from personal experience, like, Trust me, it, it does get better um, if you do the right routines, if you take care of yourself, and yeah. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this just kind of candid talk, talking about my experiences. Um, I know that it's not like a touchy, touchy subject, but um, it's something that is pretty common with you know guys and girls both and it, it, it was really difficult for me to get through um, there were times where my self-confidence was super low I like wouldn't want to go out with my friends take pictures but you know once I got over that fear and my skin started clearing up I just started being way happier so I hope that can be the same for you thank you guys so much for watching if this video has helped please make sure you give it a like comment down below any suggestions of other types of videos you want me to make whether it's about you know fashion or lifestyle photography film you name it and i'll do it it's your boy nick che and i'm out i'm sorry 50 dub i even got it tatted on me 81 they'll bring the crashes to the party and you know me turn the 02 into the 03 dog without 40 ollie there be no me